what you're about to hear is real. The names have been changed to protect all those who are involved. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this page. There are six children in my family, three boys and three girls. My dad was a kid in heart. He played games with us most all the time. We lived in an old broken down house. Mom and dad had the front bedroom. The girls in the middle and the boys in the very back. This house looked very spooky, scary, and haunted. In the winter time we would put up plastic over the windows to keep the cold air from coming in. We had only one floor heater. Even that, only would have two of the heating elements that worked. Needless to say, it stayed cold inside. We would hang up sheets and all the kids slept on the living room floor in the winter time. One night we the kids wanted to play hide and seek in the house. Dad always played with us, Mom would just watch. Dad said, go hide. All the kids ran to find a good hiding place. The house was an older one but it had big rooms so we had a lot of places to hide. Not one of the kids ever went to the back bedroom, for good reasons. After a few minutes went by, Dad screamed, here I come. It had only been a few minutes Dad scream out, kids come out now. The game is over. He was standing in the kitchen to see where everyone was hiding. He told us to go to the living room. Again he looked like he did the night he and I were watching the vampire show. He looked as white as a dead man, as if he'd seen a ghost. Mom asked him, what's wrong? He said he went in the back bedroom, cause he thought he had seen one of the kids. Go back there. He said it was pitch black. I snuck in and heard some movement in the closet. He heard a growl and then saw two red glowing eyes in there, he said, I knew. It was not human. Our lights in this house were always going off and on. It always felt like someone was watching you. I had started going to church with my grandma. I would walk over next door to her home and ride with her. One night I had come home early from church. 9.30 p.m., well, for our church it was early. I walked in and no one was there. Many of the times, if Dad was home, he would take the family riding on the dirt roads. There was no telling when they would come home. They would have a little dinner after church. They had it there, in the banquet room. They charged to eat, but I never had money to eat. I would go sit in the stairwell, it was like two flights of stairs. I would stay there, so no one could see me. The kids would go down and up the stairs playing. I would just duck my head, in shame of not having any money or no nice clothes to wear. This particular night, when I got home, no one was there, I sat on the couch and turned on the TV, trying to keep my mind off of feeling spoked. It wasn't long before I started hearing some kind of noise coming from the back bedroom. It sounded like someone or something was in there. All at once the front door flew open. I could have peed my pants. No one was there. I called my other grandma, on mom's side of the family. I told her that I was alone, could she please come to the house? She said yes, she and my aunt would, they didn't have a car, they had to walk. About seven blocks. I sat back on the couch. I was trying to keep my composer and not act like I was afraid. Then all at once the electricity went off. I jumped up and ran out the back door, I never looked back. I don't think my feet ever touched the ground. Grandma had only made it to the end of the first block. She said, I can't believe you're already here. We walked back to the house, by that time, the family was home. I told them what happened. Still, Dad said, I should have checked the breaker, because the breaker probably just flipped off. Yeah, it was on the outside of the house too. Story number 3 Episode number 6 It was Thanksgiving and all the family went over Grandma's house. One of our cousins said they had a game to play, but only five people could play at a time. Well, I knew I wouldn't be one of the first, so I watched with anticipation. 
they laid one of the kids to lay flat on the ground the four other kids got around then, one was at the head, one at the feet, and one on each side. Then said something like, light as a feather many times, almost like a chant. It was late in the evening, about dusk, this made it the more eerie feeling. The four only used their fingertips, and started the chant again, they had lifted the person on the ground up in the air, over their heads. Wow! Everyone else was shocked by this. How did they do that? I asked myself. I was next. This didn't feel right. I was about to opt out, but before I could run away, they had me on the ground and started the chant. I was screaming. Let me down. They just laughed. Finally they did. Our Uncle Rob was watching. He asked, what were we doing? They told him, come over here and we will show you. To myself I thought, there's no way they could lift him in the air. But they did. Rob started screaming. Let me down. Let me down. The person in the air, can't move on their own, not until they let you down. He went and told Dad, Dad came outside and told them to show him. So the group got around him, did their chant. They lifted him above their heads. Dad weighed at least 180 pounds. Dad started yelling. Let me down. Now. Dad said that he had never been so scared in his life. He made us go home, he told the other kids that this was a form of witchcraft. He went and told their parents also. They said they thought it was just a game. Everyone was forbidden to play that game again.